Hey, this is Yang Park. People call me Yang or Dr. Park. So I'm really exci excited about this course and this summer. So we're going to take on very exciting topics throughout the courses. So let's take a look. All right, some details. Make sure you read the syllabus first. There's some uh, what we call some uh, important details there. So uh, do not skip reading it. And we, do, we recommend to use the GoView email rather than GSW uh, email. Uh, because GoView email uh, within this uh, GoView, so you don't have to, uh, you know, in and out. Of course, if you use the GSW email, you can have different kinds. I can have, you know, I could have uh, so many different kinds of email so that I may not serve you quicker. And uh, we're going to use uh, Microsoft Teams for online uh, communication, which is different than uh, you know, video conference too. So that we're going to uh, have a, a Teams meeting every Monday, 8 to 9. And in terms of textbook, we're going to use the open textbook, which can be uh, out of materials there. So we're going to try to make up those some outdated uh, topics, information uh, by using some other supplemental uh, tools and uh, articles, of course. And make sure you have a functioning webcam and microphone so that you can take a Proctor U exam without any issues. Because sometimes uh, your webcam may not work well, microphone is not working. So make sure to check your equipment before taking the test, ProctorU testing. Well, in case you're first time taking ProctorU, make sure read, make sure check those information so that uh, you're not missing any important information because uh, there's some steps you need, you need to go through creating account, checking your equi equipment, and so forth. In terms of uh, software, we're going to use Microsoft Office 2019 or higher. And most likely, you're going to have Office 365, which is an online version of the Office. Of course, you can get that uh, from GSW website for free. Okay, other software, Google applications, a database. A database may not be popular among end users, but that's one of the most important applications uh, in this world. Without database, you know, uh, nothing we can uh, record or retrieve. So we're going to use Microsoft Access as an example, but pretty uh, easy to use compared to other powerful database stuff. The HTML, JavaScript, and some image editor, which is online version. File compression software, you probably heard about a zipping or uh, compression uh, applications. And text editor in terms of editing HTML or simple text so that the uh, file can be uh, reduced, minimized. And online presentation tool, um, I think I didn't mean to put it, but regular semesters we use this online presentation tool. All right. Uh, the course itself, if you look at uh, GoView, and you have uh, at the top, you have a course home, which is the uh, landing page for this course, syllabus, content, assessment, communication, and so forth. So most likely, you're going to check the announcement every week. Okay. Then uh, you go to content, right? And the content, you'll have the modules, okay, which is like chapters, okay? And that will be compatible with first week, second week, third week, and so forth. Okay, so that's how you're going to navigate those materials. Each module, you have reading materials, okay, or video materials. 
and you have assignments well of course we have the actual textbook because I uh, just copy and paste the actual textbook which is our open textbook then you have uh, you know other materials supplemental materials then right below we have assignments then you have quizzes or depending on the week you we have uh, discussion board so that's how each module is consist of okay so important thing is just check the announcements because the latest uh, news important information hands-on tutorials and hands-on uh, information for assignment and and so forth okay like I said understanding uh, how to take proctor testing is very important especially if you're taking first time okay then modules just like chapters so we go by the chapter so there's a module one introduction module two uh, it's an IT matter does IT matter it's more like a strategic advantages of information technology module 3 hardware software module 4 database module 5 networking and telecommunication module 6 internet and web actually module 5 and module 6 we have some uh, other supplemental materials module 7 information systems security okay then uh, it's not actually module but you know extra folders or tests and reviews and Excel um, folders which contains Excel hands-on Excel exercises okay in terms of grade grade component in this course so we have two Proctor U tests okay uh, the dates are given so you can actually uh, schedule those dates as soon as uh, as soon as they imp I think they're gonna have to input into the uh, server so as soon as they do you can schedule them uh, like uh, within a week okay chapter assignment which is individual assignment then we have Excel exercises and other hands-on can be in any related database AI related and HTML and discussions uh, we'll have four discussions those are listed in discussion board and quizzes and each module carries a quiz set of quizzes okay so that's how grade components look like okay policy late assignment policy which can uh, which you can take three day makeup okay as a total or you can take it individually one day like 24 hours three times either way you have three uh, makeup dates other than that there's no late assignment you know beyond three days and uh, you know things can happen if you have to uh, if they have to attend some family emergencies or if you're sick and then things like that let me know so that we can accommodate your needs all right uh, technical issues I see every semester because uh, we are doing online things can be uh, pretty tricky because you cannot control internet you cannot control server you cannot probably you cannot control your machine sometimes right uh, however you know you need to do your best uh, to taking care of your machine so there's no accident while you're taking tests especially okay so I think it's uh, kind of common sense uh, you're taking care of your machine while you're taking a test for example you schedule your testing time when internet internet is not really busy you know you don't want to take the test 
like a seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night, for example, if your internet is slow, right? And also free tutoring is available. Uh, you can get to tutor.com through GoView so that you can take advantage of free tutoring. I think they offer Excel tutoring. So for in Excel part, you can uh, take advantage of this. And accessibility services. So if you need accommodations for this uh, ADA, and you can call or you can uh, email, as you can see. And academic integrity, another important uh, information. And if there's uh, any issue related to academic integrity, I'll assign zero for that assignment. But it happens again, then uh, the student will receive F in this course. In terms of plagiarism, because of AI chatbots, AI related tools are available, widely available. Um, in this course, we're going to take uh, AI chatbots, AI generated submissions are not uh, acceptable. Okay, so if the turn it in, for example, Turnitin is a software we use to detect possible plagiarism. So if there's a, a red flag, then we're going to take it very seriously and we're going to have a communication with you. So if you have any question about this, please let me know. And one of another important thing, if you have any issues, if you have any questions, if you have any problems, help, just let me know first, okay? So please do not spend hours yourself trying to find out, trying to figure it out yourself, okay? I'm here to help you out. Pretty much stand by, okay? All right, so I'll talk to you later.